Welcome back. Minnesota has declared this week Workplace Rights Week. Valley News Team's Quinn Gorm shows us what they're hoping to accomplish. I am so excited for the first ever Workplace Rights Week here in Minnesota, and it's been a long time coming. Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan highlighting a new push by the state of Minnesota for workers' rights. Workplace Rights Week comes hot off the heels of a legislative session that expanded labor protections. We have passed a tremendous amount of legislation, some that has already been enacted, um, but there's a lot of things that we have to implement and we have to implement it uh, very well. Flanagan, alongside the commissioner of the state's Department of Labor and Industry, toured a St. Paul warehouse on Wednesday to talk with local workers. Their remarks touted a few key legislative initiatives. We have made it easier to collectively bargain in this state. Things like paid family and medical leave, earned sick and safe time. Other programs have helped nursing mothers in the workplace and created additional protections for parental leave. As part of the Workplace Rights Week, the Department of Labor and Industry is hoping to visit a thousand different workplaces statewide, offering education and listening to the public need. That listening process, a key part of getting workplace-centric legislation across the finish. It's all based on feedback uh, legislators or the department has been receiving from workers and worker advocates in these different industries saying, you know what, this is happening and it, it's not right and we don't have anything to address it. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. Minnesota Department of Labor and Industry has a goal of visiting a thousand workplaces this week for Workplace Rights Week. After the break, we'll take you out to Rose Creek Golf Course for our final installment, the Legacy 18.